Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And today we're going to turn this into this. So right up front, I want to tell you that I did not come up with this cool little hack. Um, I learned this off James Yeager's YouTube channel a couple years ago. Last time I looked for the video, I couldn't find it. Maybe I just couldn't find it that day. Maybe it's up now. I don't know. In any event, I had to modify this tail cap, so I thought I'd make a video about it. But I don't like that the Surefire caps come with the click on, click off type of thing. Uh, just not, not a fan of that. So what I want to do is I want to modify this cap so that it ends up with a momentary only feature. Uh, so that when I push and the light comes on, and then I let go and it comes off. So I'm pushing, it's on, I let go and it's off. I like momentary only on all my weapon lights. It's just how I run. I know there's some different debates and whatever, but that's how I want to do it. If you're here and that's how you want to do it, then you're going to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cap apart and we'll go through that now and make it so it is momentary only and get rid of the click. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get in here and unscrew the cap. So when you look in there, you should be able to see two little hash marks. And we're going to use this pliers. I'm gonna try to get in both those hash marks at once. I'm going to untwist it. So I have to get it started. It's not so bad. But what I have to do is I have to try to fit the pliers in there correctly and then twist. You have to push into the unit and then twist. Okay, so that should get you this little ring. That's the part that we just twisted off. That'll come out. From there, we're going to pull off this rubber membrane. Okay, so that part will come off and then the whole unit should slide out and separate just like that. Now, <clears throat> from here, you're gonna have to remove this little metal protector thing here. So for that, I usually use a small screwdriver and just kind of gently pry that up. Okay, so after we remove that small metal piece here, Okay, so once we get to this point, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to remove is the spring. So you should just be able to gently remove that. Okay. Now with the spring removed, you're gonna to need to remove this top piece here. It is held in by these three plastic tabs so you're just gonna to wanna to be gentle in how you remove that. This is a place where it helps to have a very tiny screwdriver. If you can kind of wedge the screwdriver in between the plastic piece, then you can gently pry it out. Jeez. Okay, that got a little bit mangled there, but I was able to finally remove it. From here, you have a plastic uh, piece of some sort, which you're gonna have to get that out, and then you'll lift up gently these three metal tabs on each, uh, on, on the sides of the unit, and then you're gonna lift all those pieces out. So first, we'll take that plastic piece out,
Okay, there's the plastic piece. Now we'll gently lift these tabs up. get that piece out. From here, you'll be able to dump the whole unit out. And right here, that yellow clicky piece, much like on the inside of a clicky pen, that is what's causing the entire unit to click up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reassemble this entire unit without that yellow clicky piece. So we'll put the red cap back through there. silver piece back in, followed by the spring, and now we're just going to reassemble everything in reverse order. So we'll put down our pieces with our three metal prongs, put down our plastic protector piece, Put down the piece that we had to really try to pry to get out. Put down our metal, uh, put the spring back on. Sometimes you gotta kinda thread it to get it started and then it should just, let's try that again. Sometimes you just gotta thread this thing on and try to kind of turn it on. This can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Again, just make sure that spring is fully around that metal piece, this one looks like it is. We'll put our metal piece, little metal ring back on here. <clears throat> so after we have it reassembled at this point, we'll feed it back through the unit. We're gonna put our rubber membrane back on top there. And this rubber membrane has a lip on it. So on this lip here, that's what you're gonna to try to feed back into the unit. It'll make a little bit more sense once you see it, but you're trying to feed that back under there because then of course this metal piece is gonna sit on top of your membrane. So you're gonna to try to make sure to feed that in and get the membrane all the way down into the housing of the unit where it needs to be. Yep, so it'll look like that once it's all said and done. And then you're just going to re-screw in the piece that you unscrewed at the very start. Kind of get that started. Again, I like to use like a needle nose pliers. And I'm trying to get in those two hinge points there. And then I'm just gonna get in there and uh, screw those back in. Again, this is the part that could be tricky. Might have to do this off camera, but basically I'm trying to press into the Surefire unit. That's why I'm trying to push the pliers in and then ro rotate at the same time. And there, all said and done, without the yellow piece, we have a cap that does not click. So let's test it out, make sure it works.
And that is the Surefire light hack. Hope that was helpful. If you're into the momentary only on like I am, uh, you can use this trick to make your Surefire lights that much better. Do brave deeds and endure.